26 of my love series. Let's start just in a regular comfortable seat. Feel free to sit up on a block if you have one or maybe a folded pillow. That works too. It's not necessary. I just like to sit up a little bit taller, a little bit higher. It makes me um, sit up straighter for some reason. I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm having some constipation issues. I know, TMI right out the gate, right? But I just, you know, want to be real. So we're going to do some poses today to help in that department. So if you ever have that issue, you can maybe do a few of those poses at home. Um, I also have a quick 10 minute video yoga for constipation. This one is going to flow into everything else we're doing today. So let's just start with our hands in our lap or on our knees, shoulders down away from your ears. Nice long neck and spine. Close your eyes and let's just take a few breaths, becoming present on our mat, trying to let go of everything else we have on our to-do list. Take a deep breath in. Completely exhale. Deep breath in. Completely exhale. One more deep breath in. And completely exhale. Go ahead and gently open your eyes. We're gonna take a deep breath in. Reach those arms over your head. Exhale, arms come back down. Again, breathe in, arms reach overhead. Exhale, arms come back down. One more time, reach up, inhale. And exhale, arms come down. Clasp your hands behind your back. So just interlace your fingers behind your back. And start by opening your shoulders, rolling them open, squeezing your shoulder blades together, opening your chest. You can lift your chin slightly up towards the sky. Deep breath in. And exhale. You can release the hands, coming back to a straight spine, warming up the palms and the wrists. We're going to Pull the four fingers underneath on the right side, stretching out that wrist. Take a breath. Four fingers come above. Take a breath. Other side, left side, four fingers pull under. Take a breath. And above. Take a breath. Let's do some wrist circles. Reverse your circles. Stretch those fingers out really wide, as wide as you possibly can. Bring them in for a fist. Straighten those fingers out as wide as you can. Bring it in one more time. And bring it in. Let's walk the right fingertips out to the side, reaching that left arm overhead. You can look up towards the sky. And take a breath. Coming back up through center. Left fingertips walk out to the side. Right arm reaches over the head. You can look up to the sky. Take a breath. Making sure you keep both sits bones on the ground at all times. So if you're lifting up, you've gone too far. You almost want to push down through those sits bones. And let's come back up. If you're sitting on a block, go ahead and remove it. We're going to come right into our tabletop position. 
Knees are under your hips, hands are under your shoulders, nice long spine, neck is in line with the spine, gaze is down. We're gonna just be aware of the core. I know I say tighten the core, but I don't want you to get used to like tightening the core. I just want you to be aware of it. So don't forget it's there, don't let it sag. Just keep it, just keep yourself aware of it. You know what I'm saying, come on. Let's bring the right leg out. Left arm comes out. Square those hips. Bring that belly button in and up. We're gonna breathe in. Exhale, lift both the arm and the leg. Bring it back and then bring it in. So we come out, breathe in, lift. Exhale to come in. Coming back out, inhale. Kick it up, exhale, bring it in one more time. And lower it down. Left leg comes out. Right arm comes out. So keep your hand like you're gonna shake somebody's hand. We're, we're not flattening it or opening the palm, it's just sideways. So you wanna square those hips. Bring the belly button in and up. We're gonna breathe in, kick it up, exhale, round it in. Breathing in, kick it up, exhale, round it in. Breathing in, up, exhale, bring it in. One more time, kick it up and round it in. Let's go ahead and lower it down. I want you to curl your toes and we're gonna lift just a couple inches off the floor and then we're gonna turn and kick and come back through center. So we're gonna breathe in when we're in center and then exhale, kick. And you don't have to lift your hands off the mat. Breathing in, exhale, kick. Coming back through center. Breathing in, exhale, not a big kick. Breathing in, exhale, turn and kick. Lower those knees down. Let's open our knees nice and wide. As wide as the mat, bring your toes to touch. Sit back on those heels. Slowly begin to let those arms melt forward. Chest comes towards the mat. And then forehead rests on the mat. Wide line of child's pose or extended child's pose. Take a breath. Already beginning to feel maybe your heart rate starting to quicken. One more breath. Feeling those hips open up. One more breath. And we're gonna slowly round our back and open up those hips, opening the chest, keeping our toes touching. So all I did was I came from extended child's pose. Everything stays the same. I rounded through my back and then I just let my chest open. Deep breath in, exhale, round back to your extended child's pose. And we're gonna round back up. Open our chest one more time. Inhale, exhale, sit back. Now that's a great uh, pose or hip opener if you have your menstrual cycle and you have cramps. I would do that a few times. Let's go ahead and come right into our downward dog. Start pedaling those feet, walking it out, feeling how tight those legs are. It's so crazy to me how much tighter everything feels when you first start. Breathing. Should feel really good stretching those heels towards the mat. Making sure your hands are as wide as they possibly can be. Really, um, 
putting a little bit more weight on the pads of your pointer, finger, and thumb. You can also grasp at the mat to take some pressure off of the wrists. We're gonna go ahead and tuck the tailbone up towards the sky. Don't worry if your heels do not touch. We'll worry about that later. We wanna get that spine nice and straight. You can also shorten your stance if you want your heels to be closer to the mat. Or you can also bend your knees a little bit to keep that back straight. So from here, we're gonna round forward. Keep your toes curled under. Don't flip the toes, keep them curled. Coming into upward facing dog. And then we're gonna bend our knees slightly and come right back to downward dog. Deep breath in, coming through, open that chest, exhale. Deep breath in, coming back up, exhale into your downward dog. Let's do it one more time. Open that chest, deep breath in, exhale, come back to your downward dog. Let's walk it out one more time. And we're gonna round right into a plank. And from here, placing your right hand in the middle, widen your feet as wide as the mat. Tuck that tail, I'm sorry, tuck the pelvis under slightly to ignite the core. My right hand is in the middle now. Deep breath in, exhale, twist that left arm open to the sky. And replace that left hand where the right hand just was. Open that hand really wide. Deep breath in, open it up. And exhale, coming back. Replacing that hand in the middle. Opening up to the left, deep breath in. Exhale to come back down. Open it up on the right. Deep breath in. Exhale, come back down. Go ahead and drop those knees down. Bring the knees in together. Sit back. Child's pose. Bring those arms and wrap them around your feet. Wrap them around your legs. Give your shoulders and arms a break. Maybe do a couple wrist rolls. And take a breath. One more breath. We're gonna walk those fingertips tips back up. Fingertips. <laughs> Curl your toes under. Come back to your downward dog. Pedal those feet. Take a breath. Grasp at your mat if your uh, wrists are hurting you. We're going to tuck that tailbone towards the sky. We're going to reach the right leg up, three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, bring that knee as close to your chest as possible, coming forward, shoulders over the wrists. Step that leg up. Lower down. Flatten that foot. Rise up. You can squeeze the inner thighs together to help you rise up. Arms overhead, steeple grip. So I'm gonna interlace all my fingers except my pointer fingers. We don't wanna scrunch it up by our ears. Keep the shoulders down away from your ears. Deep breath in, exhale, sink forward. Look up towards the sky, small back bend. Breathing. Release those arms. Frame that front foot, pop up on the back foot. Flatten those hands and slide that leg back. Coming into your plank. Coming right back to your downward dog. Pedal the feet for a moment, take a breath. Tucking that tailbone up towards the sky. 
On your next breath in, left leg comes high, three-legged dog. You're gonna exhale, come through the center, lifting that knee towards your chest, shoulders coming over the wrists, and you step it up. Lower down, flatten that back foot, squeeze the inner thighs together to rise. Arms overhead, steeple grip, not scrunching up towards our ears, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. Breathing in, sinking into that front hip, exhaling, small back bend. One more breath. One more breath. Slowly release. Frame that front foot. Pop up on the back leg. Flatten those hands. Slide that leg back. Coming into your plank. Deep breath in. We're gonna do chaturanga. Drop your knees down to modify. Exhale, elbows in at your side, flip those feet. Rise up, upward facing dog. Inhale, bending those knees, exhaling into your downward dog. Pedal it out, take a breath. Tuck that tailbone up towards the sky. On your next breath in, right leg reaches high, three-legged dog. Step it up like we did before, exhaling, keeping the back leg lifted. Really suctioning down with that front foot by spreading those toes and bringing them to the mat, squeezing those inner thighs. Slowly beginning to rise. Hands to heart. Take a breath. We're gonna slowly drop down with the back knee. Breathing in, exhale, lift up. Drop back down, breathe in. Exhale, lift it up. Drop back down, breathe in. Exhale, lift it up. Frame that front foot, slide back, coming into your plank, dropping the knees down, then chin and chest, flatten those feet, still using your hands and your arms, not letting all of your weight go into your chin, take a breath. Slowly come to your belly. Arms come to a T. We're gonna bring the left hand under our left shoulder. Slowly begin to turn onto our right side. You can keep your feet together or bring your left foot behind you, bringing the ball of the foot to the ground. And then maybe the left hand comes behind. You can also try to grab that foot. Maybe you grab your pant leg or your heel. Take a breath. And release the leg if you grab the foot. Slowly turning back onto your belly. Let's take it to the other side. Right hand comes under that right shoulder. Turning to your left. You can stay here, holding your body up with that kickstand, which is your arm. Or you can bring the right foot, ball of the foot behind you. You can bring that right arm behind and just leave it there. Or if you wanna take it a step further, you can grab for that heel or your pant leg or the toes. Keeping that uh, leg in line with that hip, if you are gonna grab for that foot. Take a breath. One more breath. Gently release that leg, using that right hand, coming back onto our belly. 
Grabbing our ankles. Keeping our knees in line with our hips. Don't let them splay out. Keep them in line. We're gonna be aware of our core here. So don't tighten it, just be aware of it by lifting the belly button. We're gonna breathe in. Exhale, lift your chest and your legs. Kick the legs up to the sky. Take a breath. And lower down. Don't let go of those ankles. You can stretch the heels in towards the glutes while you catch your breath. Take one more breath. Let's become aware of our core. We're gonna take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift. And slowly lower. Feet come down, curl toes, hands under those shoulders. Slowly begin to rise up into your downward dog. Take a breath, pedal those feet. Tailbone tucks up towards the sky. On your next breath in, left leg comes high, three-legged dog. Exhale, that knee comes high towards the chest. Shoulders coming over those wrists. Step it up. Hands in line with the ankle. Spread those front toes and lower them down. Squeezing the inner thighs. Slowly begin to rise. Up on the ball of the back foot. Hands come to your heart. Take a breath. You're gonna lower down on the back leg. Just the knee, do not uncurl the toes. Breathe in. Exhale, lift it back up. Drop it down. Breathe in. Exhale, lift. One more time, drop it down. Breathe in, exhale, lift. And frame that front foot. You guys did great. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Widen those knees again. Toes touch. Sit back on those heels. Melt those arms forward. Come into your child pose. Take a few breaths. One more breath. Round our back forward. Hands come under shoulders, knees come under hips. Curl those toes under. Let's come on up to our tippy toes and walk to the front of our mat. You can pop up on your fingertips. Coming into your first forward fold. Activating those quads. And as I tighten my core, it allows me to bend over the legs a little bit further, bringing a little bit more weight into the balls of my feet, letting my upper body hang heavy, breathing. Maybe you sway it out by grabbing opposite elbows. Maybe you walk it over to the left, come through center, walk it over to the right. Or maybe you just hang out. You can have a small bend in your knee as well. You don't have to have perfectly straight knees in your forward fold. I prefer a little bend in the knee. Less chance of injury. Let's go ahead and slowly begin to rise one vertebrae at a time. Inhaling. Arms overhead. Exhale. Hands come to heart. Let's go ahead and spread out all the toes on the left foot and then lower them down. Standing up nice and tall. Lifting the right knee. Deep breath in. 
Exhale, slowly come into your warrior three, square those hips. You can have a small bend in that front leg. You can use a wall if you need here, or a chair, like the back of a chair. Deep breath in, exhale, bend in that front knee, rise up. Deep breath in, exhale, small bend, lift. One more time, breathe in, exhale, bend. This time, we're going to drop it back, coming into your warrior two. Heel toe it open a little wider if you need. If your stance is too short, you'll know. And what I mean by that is you want almost a 90 degree ang angle in that front thigh. So if you see your front leg is like this, your stance is too short. You want to widen the stance, putting more weight into the back, the side of the, that foot in the back. You don't want that front knee to come over that ankle. So see, it's more of a 90 degree angle now that I've widened my stance. Opening up my arms. Deep breath in, exhale, coming forward, tipping back, breathing in, exhale, come back, humble warrior, you can place your fingertips on the inside of that foot, you can also use a block here. To give you a little bit of height or you can keep that arm on top of that thigh. Whatever's more comfortable for you. Let's take a breath. Slowly begin to turn towards the front, framing that front foot, coming onto the ball of the back foot. We're gonna slowly bend that back leg and baby step until you can come into your standing split. Wrapping that left hand around that left ankle. Bringing knee to nose. Breathe in. And let go of that ankle, hands come forward and we're gonna step it up into forward fold. You can bend one knee and then bend the other. Bend one knee, bend the other. One more time. Something so simple, you can really feel that stretch. Let's activate those thighs, tighten the core, forward fold. Slowly begin to rise. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. We're gonna lift up all the toes on the right side and then gently place them down as wide as we can. That way the foot begins to suction to the mat and we're spreading out that foot to give us some more root into the ground. Standing up nice and tall, being aware of the core. Deep breath in, left leg comes up. Slowly exhaling, coming into warrior three. Slow, controlled movement. Again, you can have a small bend in that front leg. Breathe in, exhale, bend a little more. Come back up. Breathe in, exhale, bend. Come back up, don't worry if you wobble. Breathe in. Exhale, bend that front leg, and this time let it drop back. The back leg comes to the back. You can heel toe open wider so you get that nice 90 degree angle or as close to as possible. Arms open, shoulders down, flip that front palm, breathe in, reach it front, exhaling into our peaceful warrior. You can place that left hand on the left back leg or bind it by bringing it around your back and placing it on your front leg. Take a breath. 
One more breath. Again, you can bring your forearm to the thigh, bringing the left arm over left ear. You can place your fingertips on the ground or use your block. Wherever you are, take a breath, keeping that chest open. One more breath. Slowly begin to turn your torso towards the front, turning on that back foot to the ball of that foot, framing the front leg. I'm gonna bend on that back leg, and then I'm gonna baby step it up until I can come into my standing split. I'm gonna wrap my right arm around that ankle, bringing knee to nose. Take a breath. One more breath. Release that hand. Hands come up front and step it up to your forward fold. Take a breath. One more breath. And let's slowly rise. One vertebrae at a time, head comes up last. Breathing in, arms overhead. Exhale, we're gonna do a small back bend, look up at those hands, steeple grip. Slowly rise. We're gonna dive it right down. Halfway lift, long spine. Deep breath in. Exhale, hands come to the mat. Step one foot back, step the other foot back. Coming into your plank. Slowly drop those knees down. Swing those legs around. Core work. Let's bring feet to the mat. Hands behind those thighs, slowly lay back, one vertebrae at a time. Legs come up, arms come up towards the sky. Breathe in, exhale, right leg comes out, keep it suspended, bring it in, left leg. So you're gonna breathe in, exhale. Breathe in, exhale. Keep going with the breath. Now lift your upper back off of the mat, keeping those hands lifted to the sky. Deep breath in, exhale, same. With the legs, start marrying the breath. Again, and then come 
back. You should feel really good. And breathe. Left foot on the mat, right foot crosses over, figure four. Lift that left leg so the shin is parallel with the sky. Hands interlace behind that left thigh. Bringing both legs in towards your chest. Keeping both feet active by flexing them. Take a breath. One more breath. Slowly lower down and let's switch the legs. Right leg comes down on the mat, left leg crosses over, foot is flexed. Figure four. Right leg lifts, that shin is parallel with the sky. We're going to interlace our fingers behind the right thigh. Slowly bring both legs in towards your chest and breathe. One more breath, and lower down. Both feet come to the mat, right behind your glutes. See if you can grab your heels, maybe even your ankles. If not, it's okay. Just hold on to your heels, keeping your feet in line with your hips and knees in line with your hips. See if you can lift up into your bridge pose, squeezing, bringing those shoulder blades underneath, walking your shoulders under you, lifting those hips, breathing. And slowly come down one vertebrae at a time bringing each shoulder out from under you. We're gonna work on plow pose today instead of doing leg straddle or splits because this will be good. This is a good position, in my opinion, for constipation um, because, well, for one, you're, you're bringing your legs over your head. So, you know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying. You're using those core muscles, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Any kind of twist, anything to do with your intestines, it's gonna clean them out. So if you're um, somebody that has blocks, go ahead and bring them behind you. Essentially, you want your feet to land on them, and that's just gonna give you a little bit of height to keep your back straight. It's very hard in plow pose to keep your spine super straight because that means you have to come on the very nape of your neck and use just your shoulders as a stand. And, you know, not many people have that ability yet. I certainly don't, so I like to use the blocks to give me a little bit more height to make my back a little straighter. So, we're gonna slowly lay back. Bring your feet up towards the sky. Hands are down by your side. If you feel like this is out of your range, please skip it and go into either um, like a middle split or your left and right splits with your blocks or without your blocks if you feel like this will be too much. We're going to take a deep breath in, exhale pushing off with our hands, coming onto our shoulders, letting our feet fall. Now see my, my blocks aren't back for, far enough. So if your blocks are not back far enough, please do not do what I'm doing. This is very unsafe. Just come out of it gently one vertebrae at a time and then replace your blocks and then come back into it. Once you're into it, you want to walk yourself onto your shoulders. Straightening your spine. Keeping your neck open so you can breathe. You can also place your hands on your lower back. Now 
Now I can come off of my blocks, but that just rounds my spine even more. The blocks give me a little lift to straighten my spine. I don't know where the other one went, but that's okay. And breathing, bringing our hands down on our mat. To come out of it, we're gonna keep our knees very close to our face. And we're gonna slowly come down one vertebrae at a time, letting our hands act as brakes to slow us down so we're not flying out of this. Very slow and controlled. And hug those knees into your chest. Rock it back and forth. Massage that lower back. Perfect. And let's either turn to one side in your fetal position and come into a seat, or if you're in a place where you can rock and roll, let's do so. You can do two rock and rolls, two or three, whatever you're comfortable with. And I want to do something a little different today. Since, you know, we're constipated, or at least I am, I'd like to do our corpse pose ending in wide-legged child's pose. Feel free to do a regular corpse pose. This is just an option if you want to try something different. Wherever you are, sink into your mat. If you're in child's pose, you can sway just to get that chest towards the mat a little bit more. Bringing your third eye to the mat. Relaxing your shoulders and arms. If you're on your back, go ahead and release any tension in your body. Anywhere you hold tension, be aware of it. Releasing, just melting, sinking deep into your mat. Letting each body part go heavy. Closing your eyes. And let's take slow and controlled breaths. Just drowning out any noise that's around you. I'll let you know when to open your eyes. Deep breath in. Exhale. Corpse pose, go ahead and wiggle your toes and your fingers. If you're in child's pose, wiggle your fingers. Go ahead and turn to the side if you're in corpse, coming into your fetal pose, and meet us in a comfortable seat, coming up gently and slowly. If you're in the wide legged child's pose, slowly. Coming back, walking those hands back up, and we're going to come back to our tabletop, swinging those legs around, and ending our practice in a comfortable seat. Grab your, your pillow or your block if you want to sit up on it, you don't need it. Crossing your legs in whatever seat is most comfortable for you. Sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders down away from your ear, ears. Long spine. Hands in your lap or on your knees. We're gonna do 
two ohms. You can also do a mudra if you would like. Whatever is your thing. Closing your eyes, let's take a deep breath in. Uh, One more deep breath in. Um, give yourself a smile, slowly opening your eyes, hands to heart. Bring your hands into lotus pose. So you have your hands at your heart and then you're gonna just slowly begin to open all of your fingers, keeping your pinky and your thumbs together. Opening your lotus hands. Just being grateful for being able to move your body in this way every day, day in and day out. And thank your body for showing up for you every single day. Thank you guys so much for practicing alongside of me today. For day 26, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you back for day 27. Only three more practices, and then we start Miscellaneous March. Hands to your heart. Thank you guys again so much. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste. See you tomorrow.